Peace, love, and light, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for my beautiful Scorpio Collective. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls are blissed, having a wonderful day, enjoying your free day. I am about to go on vacation, and a sister is ecstatic. <laughs> As I said, this is my daughter's uh, solar return month. So we're going to be celebrating and doing it up real big, doing big things, big things are going. So it's going to be real nice. Um, so I'm preparing for that. I'm looking forward to some time off. I haven't had any time off in quite a while. So it would be very nice to just sit back, not have to clock in, punch in. And um, so I'm looking forward to it. I will every single one of you beautiful souls, as I said, are doing just lovely um today we're going to tap into the energy see what's coming in going out going on uh this is going to be a general reading so you already know my spill if you have already visited this channel and that is if it doesn't apply let it fly by know that you're more than just your sun sign so check your moon rising in other words eat the fish spit out the bones okay um, this is also a timeless reading, so whenever you feel compelled to click play on the video, whenever you start seeing it show up in your feed, uh, whether the timestamp resonates, whether the title of the video resonates, uh, that means it's divinely meant for you. It's divine timing. It's all divine timing. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope that you find a message that resonates, and I do hope that you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. So for any of you that may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am clairaudient, and I am also an empath. Right now, we have Jill Scott, and this is called Love Rain. Um, and what she says in the song is love rain down on me. Um, and so I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys have love coming in. That's been coming out a lot. It's been a very consistent and persistent message from spirit that you have new love coming in. Um, in order for that new love to come in for some of you all, not all, um, some of you all have to still, you know, release and finalize whatever that, you know, karmic uh, you know, a uh, contract you may have, that soul contract you may have with an ex, with a karmic. Um, but there's definitely um, some of you all who are still kind of going back and forth with an ex or a karmic, and you need to release that in order for the new to come in. Uh, for most of you, I'm hearing uh, 85. So 85 is a very powerful nov number. Um, uh, 85. So that's 13. So that's four. So, yeah, so the majority of you are very stable, very, um, very grounded, very independent. You've done a lot of work on your heart chakra. Um, a lot of you all have definitely been, you know, healing emotionally, healing from those emotional traumas, um, healing from any past traumas. Like you've really been tapping and tuning in, listening to yourself, focusing on self-love, self-care. Uh, and that's why I feel like a lot of you have new love coming in because you've already been doing the work. You've been almost preparing for it without knowing. Um, so unbeknownst to you, that's why you've been doing this work is because it's like your higher self has been kind of like guiding you. So with love rain, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be raining down on you. There's some beautiful, beautiful energy that's coming in for you. It's going to feel like a blessing. It's going to feel like a wish come true, a dream come true, an answered prayer because it's coming down from the heavens uh so you know the rain you know love is raining down and it's because your angels your ancestors your beautiful spirit team are um they are manifesting you know they're bringing these uh blessings into fruition for you so it's like they are overseeing these beautiful blessings um or blessings pardon me so definitely be receptive be receptive uh be opened um i i know that most of you are uh but a lot of you are still kind of like very defensive <laughs> and 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 it's very understanding when you go through uh trauma it's kind of hard to to jump right back out there or to get right back to um trusting so it's like the divine wants you to surrender a little you just gotta you gotta work with the divine you gotta work with him all right so don't resist kind of you know surrender to the divine not to anyone else 
um, use your intuition, use discernment, of course. Um, but I do feel like because this song, I'm definitely feeling like some of you all have um, new love coming in. So that's what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's go ahead, do some house cleaning, and then we'll delve deeper into the reading. Ashe. All right. So I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So this is very profound because what she's saying is, you broke me, but I'm healing, mending myself. And um, so that I do feel like that's a testimony for most of you all. You felt like someone broke you, but you're healing, mending yourself, you know, and and that is a very profound energy. That's like star energy because the star is very hopeful, you know, holds on to hope, very optimistic, walks in faith, knows that, you know, she or he has the ability to co-create with source, to tap into their divinity, to manifest that change. And so I feel like a lot of you all, that's absolutely the mind, you know, the headspace that a lot of you went into. Um, you had to think more logically and move out of um, your emotions so as to deal with a situation um, tactfully, if you will, or even more strategic, you know, so it was more of uh, a wise decision to get out of your heart and into your head. So a lot of you felt like you were broken, broken by someone, um, felt like a relationship broke you, felt like a situation, um, you know, broke you, but it's like you're mending yourself, as Joe Scott said, um, you're healing. Um, and that could be why you're still a little, uh, you know, and I was picking up like 85% of you already, whereas the other 15 was still kind of working through some things needing to release. So that could be some of you all who are still going through it, who are still releasing that X. Um, I'm hearing attachments. So some of you all could have attachments. Some of you all may not even know um, that someone could have done a binding spell. Um, someone could have done some something to to hold you, to contain you, to, to keep you feeling trapped, even if it's not like physically trapped, mentally, emotionally, you know, spiritually kind of manipulating your energy. So some of you all may need to do like a spiritual bath. Some of you may even need to, you know, go in and, 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 uh, really do some work to try to expel, um, a spell. I don't want to make suggestions, uh, but, per, you know, perhaps go into a shaman, you know, a spiritual healer, teach master, teach someone that that could kind of like get your, you know, kind of ground your energy, even going to like a Reiki healer um, would be very helpful. I know Robin's Realm does Reiki healing. Um, I have not had any of her services, uh, but her energy, her light, it, it shines bright as far as my first eye can see. So I don't know if many, you know, if any of you may want to consult with her, see if she has any, um, you know, any advice, any humble advice to impart to you all. But some of you need to do like um, some sort of like Reiki healing because uh, I just feel like there's a lot, you know, happening um, in the head space, in your crown chakra. Uh, there's a lot of fogginess which is why some of you all are confused. Some of you all are kind of stuck in limbo. You know, you, you know what you want to do, but it's almost like you, you're finding it very difficult to take that step. And I feel like it's because there could be something manipulating your energy, um, causing that confusion. So, you know, don't, don't be afraid to, you know, to seek help. Of course, use your intuition when it comes to people. Um, and don't just go to anybody because you could get scammed out here. Um, do your due diligence, you know, maybe just take a nature walk. That could be all the healing you need. And maybe there'll be some downloads you receive, uh, which will guide you in the right direction. Cause you know, when you call in your ancestors and your angels, they will definitely show up and they will give you the download you need to help you, uh, 
uh, to um, obtaining the assistance you need, you know, so I feel a heaviness around, you know, some of you all, um, but I definitely feel strength, you know, there's still strength there, it's not like you tapped out or you tapping out, it's like you're still fighting the good fight, so to speak, all right, so that's just what I'm picking up intuitively, so let's go ahead, you know me, I like to start off with the numerology deck, so we're going to pull some messages from the numerology deck. All right. And on the bottom of the deck, I see financial discipline. All right. Give me one moment. Pardon me. I was still clocked in and I had to clock out. All right. So we have financial discipline here on the bottom of the deck. So it does seem like there was some need to focus on finances. Maybe someone was really um, putting in some some extra hours working towards a particular goal or some sort of project or maybe uh, working on some new endeavor, even if it's like opening up a business. Um, this is like that energy, you know, 48 reduces to 12, which is three. So this could be like someone really like kind of like getting their independence back, working on themselves, um, not splurging, but really being um, more mindful of you know, how they're circulating their money, um, just someone who's very um, focused on money management, wise money management. Maybe someone is growing their understanding or uh, their wealth of knowledge in investments, stocks, um, bonds, you know, retirement funds, insurance, uh, you know, life insurance, wills. Um, this message has been coming up a lot um, as well. Um, so there could be like just a focus of, you know, one's future legacy, um, you know, what they're leaving behind if something were to happen. Um, this is an energy of, um, you know, that three is really also, I'm getting like the three of pentacles where you're really mastering a craft and it's like all that hard work, all that energy and, and, and attention and time, um, blood, sweat, and tears you're putting into it. It's like, you're going to receive a payout. Uh, so it's like, you know, when you do things in moderation, um, and when you're mindful, um, of how you are utilizing your coins, um, there's only, you know, that much more that there's only more of a guarantee that you'll have a return on that investment. So this is like wise money management, if you will. Um, on the split, we have parenting. So many of you all, this is your focus because you may be single parents. Um, some of you all with the 63, that's nine. Some of you could be birthing a child soon. So that could be why you're really focused on saving and not splurging because, you know, I'm hearing some of you all still don't have a crib. Um, a lot of you don't have like family that's going to throw you a baby shower. Times are hard on the boulevard. So it's like a lot of you all are working extra hours over hour, even pregnant, even with child, um, because you're trying to secure, um, you know, just this, just a, a safety net for your, for your star seed when they come into the world. Um, with love rain, I feel like that's also, you know, could be uh, very indicative of a child being, um, born into this world. Uh, with parenting, I feel like there's something that's coming to light. Uh, maybe if you all are not communicating, um, with the father or the mother of a child, um, maybe that's going to change soon. Uh, maybe someone is having, you know, some sort of epiphany. Uh, maybe they will start helping out more, um, because this, like I said, breaks down to three. Uh, so this does give me like that, that empress energy, that divine feminine, uh, you're coming off very independent, self-sufficient. If you are feminine energy, um, if you are pregnant with child, um, but I feel like you know, there's someone that kind of wants to uh, come in and help out, you know, with parenting. This is that's a two way street. Uh, it takes two to create. So it takes two to, you know, rear that child, raise that child, love that child. Uh, so I do feel like there's um, an opportunity uh, for some sort of um, conversation, you know, maybe even, you know, just being able to agree to disagree respectfully. It's like, I don't have to like what you're saying, but I could respect what you're saying. Um, and, and that's just enough 
to build on. Um, we have Mariah Carey, Vision of Love playing. Um, so maybe some of you all were disappointed because you you envisioned your love story a little differently. You didn't, ex you know, you didn't envision yourself being a single parent. You didn't envision yourself, um, you know, not being with the father or the mother of your child or children, if that applies. Um, I feel like you saw yourselves someplace else, like you saw yourselves um, in a completely different scenario than what you are in. But I do feel like with that Love Rain Down On Me um, song by Jill Scott, I do feel like uh, whether you realize it or not, there is um, a lot of love, you know, that you're going to be feeling. Um, and I see it's going to take you on a ride. It's going to take you on a little journey, you know. It's going to be something that just comes out of the blue. So we have one and one, you know. So a new beginning. There's like a new, I heard new cycle of life. You know, many of you were trapped in some sort of karmic circumstance, but I do feel like many of you are embarking on something new. So I'm going to take these two cards here that are sticking out. And we have in the bottom of the deck, we got 74 nature. So that 74 breaks down to 11, 11 breaks down to two. So I feel like a lot of y'all get downloads when you're out in nature. You get the most downloads. You get a lot of information, affirmation, transmissions, downloads, divine interventions when you're out in nature. I feel like with this vision of love, I feel like, you know, maybe some of you all um, are able to see things clearer because that sun, that raw provides truth, clarity, illumination. So s utilize most of your time out in nature if you can. I know it's hot, but maybe go out early, you know, when the sun rises, opposed to going out in, you know, right in the middle of the winter, you know, the uh, afternoon when the sun is peaking. So it's like go out before the sun peaks so that you can enjoy some of that raw, enjoy some of that, that fresh air, that prana. And so you can connect most in um, most importantly, so we have uh, the number seven. So you are absolutely um, sensitive to information, and I feel that's why spirit is urging you to go outside. The 74 breaks down to 11, as I said. Right underneath that is 11 as well. So um, that's like 11, 11. Maybe you're getting some download about some sort of um, love interest that's coming in. I absolutely feel like a lot of you all have been working on yourselves and you've been growing in the process. Um, there's been a lot of spiritual growth in addition to just emotional growth, um, ascension, um, elevating, you know, in your mind, in your 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 uh, your being. You know, there's just been a lot of growth. This is an all purple card. So I absolutely feel like many of you are very intuitive or psychic. You have some sort of psychic abilities. This 74 breaks down to 11, which breaks down to two. So I was picking up one like that high priestess energy. So you have, you know, kind of risen um, to some sort of higher rank um, in spirituality. Uh, many of you all could have been learning and growing and, and, and sitting at the feet of the elders. Um, I see that you've persevered through a great deal. I was picking up on that four earlier um, because I was picking up on that number 85, which breaks down to 13, which ultimately breaks down to four. And I feel like, you know, that 13 shows there was like a painful loss or ending. Um, something ended, but it required you to focus on the self. Um, this four deals with the heart chakra. This is all green. So it does show that there's been a lot of work on yourself, a lot of healing um, internally, um, soulfully, um, and you've persevered through whatever it was that felt like a death, whatever it was um, that triggered you to start this spiritual journey. Right now we have um, Ryan Leslie, and this is called Out of the Blue. So I do feel like some of you all were just abandoned. Um, someone could have rejected your love out of the blue. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, there was a part of you that already knew um, something wasn't right or someone wasn't right for you uh, because I'm seeing, you know, both of these cards are solid. So I do feel like you are very solid in your stance, um, in your disposition um, as of now, you know, because uh, you saw things for what they were and you didn't um, you didn't turn a blind eye. I think you did a little more deep diving, a little more investigating. Um, and that's why you have this four here, because you focused on the self-love, self-care. 
Um, you prioritized your needs. You made sure to heal yourself. You made sure to recover from whatever that was that caused that pain, that agony. Um, if you look, both of these cards are uh, purple and green 74. And if you look at this card, this is also 74. So I also feel like you have a twin flame coming in that's matching your vibration as well. See how that's purple on the inside of the symbol and it's green. And then you have purple and then green 74. And then you have seven, four. So these both equal 11, 11 when you put it together. So your twin flame, remember love rain down on me. So I do feel you and your twin flame, your soulmate, your cosmic companion, whoever this is that is trying to work their way into your life, who's returning into your life, entering into your life for this new beginning or for this new chapter. I feel that they are absolutely like mirroring you. This is a literal mirror. It's everything on one card. These two cards equal this. So this is showing absolutely that there is someone coming in. And I feel like this person's coming in because there were some things you had to learn, um, especially in terms of your independence. Um, I feel like a lot of you were in codependent relationships or you had attachments. I was picking up on attachments um, earlier, you know, maybe dealing with someone who was uh, an energy vampire, incubus, succubus, um, someone who kind of lived off of your life force, uh, someone who kind of lived vicariously through you is what you dealt with. And that's why you had to, you know, kind of heal through that, grow through that. Um, you also had to reflect um, on what may have taken place and, 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 and forgive yourselves even, because I feel like a lot of you all were kind of blaming yourselves or not forgiving yourselves for what you may have experienced. And you have nothing to do with another person's behavior, but you have everything to do with the way that you respond, with the way that you, um, you know, deal with that. And I feel like that's the part that a lot of you had to work on was, you know, A, forgiving yourself, but also not judging yourself. So the next card we have is Rebirth. So now the rebirth can begin. This is 16. So this is you like moving in a completely different direction. You've built your spiritual strength. And that's why this this personal growth is here, uh, because that literally, you know, speaks to the crown chakra. And when your crown chakra is activated, then you could receive downloads. You could receive, you know, those messages from spirit, from your higher self. You could receive those transmissions. Um, you know, maybe even a lot of you were receiving like, you know, uh, messages in the dream state, um, maybe telepathically, intuitively. Maybe you were bumping into certain animal totems, having certain sensations, um, maybe synchronicities. Uh, but there was many ways in which universe um, and your spirit team, your angels, your guides, your ancestors were communicating with you. I feel like that's what led to the transformation. Um, you just chose chose to to keep moving forward, to keep chucking forward, to not you know, give up, to not give in, to not, you know, submit your will to another person, to not allow someone to control you, manipulate you. Um, I feel like there was a lot of pain, uh, but I feel like ultimately um, this led to your transformation. Um, this was necessary. This was a part of, you know, your destiny, to be honest with you. This was destined to happen, whether th with this person or with another person. Many of you needed to learn to love thyself. That is truly what I'm seeing here is loving thyself was um, the lesson. And now that you've learned the lesson, you have this rebirth. And it's because you, you know, you went to the root cause of the issue and you healed that. You know, you really healed that and you trusted what your higher self told you to do. Um, right now we have usher. Um, and so, yeah, so your higher self kind of ushered you into, uh, this new, this new chapter, um, where there is major change, transformation shifts, shifts in your consciousness, especially I see, um, and we have this is this song is called nice and slow. So this has been a, a slow process and I don't think it's been nice. I, I you know, I've told you all before, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I feel a lot of you felt foolish for a long time um, for waiting for someone uh, for just kind of holding back because you thought something was going to work itself out and it just never did. Um, someone was very slow to um, apologizing. I feel some of you all never received an apology and that's why you were waiting. You were kind of giving it a, a chance to kind of, um, you know, kind of like 
work itself out and it just never did so you just kind of kept going you know this is the rebirth transformation you know this is a major change that took place so let's see what else we have coming in going out going on let me put my card there and so we have um music soul child this is called um so beautiful so yeah your transformation has like you've emerged you know in that energy of the empress the emperor because we did see that card um and you know i i just feel like a lot of you all are more focused on the self and that always makes you more attractive because you're treating yourself better you're more patient with yourself um you're, you're just more tender more kind to you you know so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios so and we have karmic completion there we go see that wrapped up that cycle that's what you had to do so again this is the third re third reading where this message has come out so I feel everything you've been through is why this card is coming out because you all are now, you know, healers because you had to heal yourself. You're now teachers because you have been teaching not only yourself, but those who have been paying attention, um, you know, how to to grow, to evolve, you know, how to do the work. You know, there's there's some some knowledge, some wisdom. There's a higher learning, a higher knowledge, you know, that you have access to that you now can uh, share with the masses with the collective um, I feel it has a lot to do with your uh, tuition um, maybe your ability to channel some of you all could be scryers or tarot readers or you know uh, psychics uh, some of you all could be clairaudient or clairsentient or you know whatever gift skill talent you have I feel like you do utilize um, you know some cerebral um, you know energy to provide this 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 service um you're definitely tapped in um to your higher self you're in that vibration of that empress there goes the empress here and some of you are absolutely uh with child i feel some of you all are also birthing like a golden child i'm hearing that term a golden child uh with this karmic completion that's why there's um there was some sense of like chains attachments um, and yeah, you're dealing with like an egotistical person, pompous, you know, very proud, cocky, conceited, you know, just as someone who's just not grounded, who's not in harmony, very, very all over the place, kind of, sort of, you know, with this energy here, this is like what you, you really needed to end that cycle so that something new could come in. For some of you all, I was picking up that you all were still clinging you know and whether you're clinging to someone or someone's clinging to you there's a need to release you know what i'm saying you 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 just got to release them you got to let it go because it's not serving your highest good it's not serving you i feel it's holding you back it's holding you back and it's holding back the big the blessings um that are meant for you you know so let's see what else we have um oh, let's do some let's do this we'll do some light seers so look at that eight of cups so you guys do make the decision to walk away because you realize you you're worthy of so much more we got music soul child singing you know so beautiful so you do realize that you deserve more you know and that's because you have been growing so you know even though you may appear to be you know kind of stuck um i feel like a lot of you all are going to trust your intuition with that seven you're going to trust, you know, trust what spirit tells you to do. And you're going to choose to walk away. This is very much um, a show of power, self-love. You know, this is a very powerful statement to walk away from something that no longer serves you. You're walking away from someone and they're going to feel abandoned. You know, this is somebody feeling abandoned, feeling like you left them out in the cold. Maybe that's you, you know, leaving a situation where you felt abandoned and you're moving on. Because walk, you know, that eight of cups shows, you know, power, as I said, that's a powerful stance. Um, you've made a decision to leave because you realize something wasn't worth your time, your energy any longer. And you're very, you know, particular of who you allow in, you know, this is like you putting up a guard. I feel like you gave people a lot of chances also, like you gave them chances. Um, and every time you gave them a chance, it's like they just pushed you further and further you know closer and closer to the edge we have the ten of cups here so this is what you're imagining 
This is what you're envisioning. This is what you are visualizing. Like when you think of what you want, what you deserve, this is what you see. That Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, contentment, joy. It's like you've learned what your love language is. You've learned what you deserve, you know. And we have um, TLC, Take Our Time. So you see that? This is like, you know, you and another person are kind of like thinking of one another. Someone is also like, you know, seeing you in a whole new light, you know. Maybe at one point in time, someone could have felt like they were stuck at a fork in a the road. They didn't know what to do, what option to take. But I feel like with this King of Swords here, there's a lot of, you know, kind of like um, reflecting. You know, he seems to be, you know, reflecting because his body is, you know, he's he's looking in the past direction. He's not looking towards the future. So there's like reflecting, you know, with take our time. Maybe somebody was too slow. You know, maybe somebody took too much time. You know, but it does make sense because, you know, with this karmic completion, divine timing is always of essence. And because something was trying to happen prematurely, it never took off. It, I don't feel like a connection really took off. So there was always this dreaming, daydreaming, imagining, you know, desiring, um, you know, someone to return. There was a lot of people here, you know, that were, you know, confusing this connection that were trying to really um, draw, throw a monkey wrench in this. I feel like there was a lot of chatter, a lot of people gossiping, talking, um, you know, just causing a lot of, it was like very competitive, if you will. Somebody was listening to the wrong people, see that? And I feel like for you, you just started to own your power, stand in your power, took your power back, realized your worth, your value, and I feel like you, you just respected the time that was necessary, you know, and you just began to work on you, you know, and because you've done the work, I feel like now it's like you're expecting something to transform or to manifest because you know you've been putting in the work, you know, you've been putting in, you know, that time. And so it's like you're just anticipating something to come. And so we have the fool here. So there's a new beginning indeed. You know, the fool speaks to, you know, kind of like, you know, it's it's almost an energy of like redemption, you know, taking that leap of faith. Spirit is urging you to be, you know, more risky, more daring. You know, that's what that adventure card showed up. This is going to be the new and improved you. You know, the wheel is here. So you've completed a cycle. Remember, I use the term ascension. You've elevated, you've grown. The work you've done on your heart chakra, it has it graduated you. That's why I was picking up on some of you all being like, you know, spiritualists. You know, you have some sort of gift that you're here to, you know, assist the masses, which it's like with it's like you've stepped into your purpose. You've stepped into your passion, but it's it's not without, you know, um, it's not without, you know, a very laborious energy. It's like you've worked for that. You know, this this world card is the last card of the major arcana. And so it just shows that you've really come full circle in terms of, you know, how you love yourself, you know, the respect that you show yourself and the way that you expect others to treat you now. It's like it's like full. It's like night and day the way you were treating yourself opposed to how you're treating yourself now with take our time. I definitely feel like it, it required a lot of patience for you to work on yourself and to get to this point where you are feeling solid you know this is all solid green and that green like i said deals with the heart chakra four is the heart chakra so it's like you've persevered through a lot of pain through a lot of trauma but you've survived you've learned to navigate and look at that big smile this is like a graduation this is also like spirit is like you know opening you up to a whole new world to a whole new chapter this is a beautiful new beginning that's why that beginning new beginning was there because it's like you've you've completed this karmic cycle and so now you're opening up um a very new chapter in your life so why is this perseverance here for my beautiful scorpios they have a message of love and of light look how these three cards are stick should i take those okay they said no because they didn't they didn't fall out and why is perseverance here for my beautiful scorpios they have a message of love and light thank you spirit and the bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. 
Remember, love reigns. So spirit is preparing you for new love. And that's why it required you to heal yourself so that you can, you know, be able to. You have to be able to spot true love, identify, you know, true love when it's right in front of your face. A lot of people make mistakes. They don't see the signs. And it's like, this is why you had to heal yourself. This is why you had to heal from that pain. You can't be walking around with baggage. Because all you're going to do is meet somebody who's going to have matching luggage. You know what I'm talking about? So there goes the judgment. The rebirth. See how that spirit is just ascending from this beautiful soul? And it's because it's, it's like this is the new and improved version. You're going to have to make a judgment call in matters of the heart. This may be impertinent to a divine masculine that could be coming in. And I feel like something in you is going to... You know, the, your spirit and this person's spirit is going to be intertwined because four is the vibration of 1111. And remember, we saw 1111 just a few moments ago and we got the Ace of Cups here and we have a Mel LaRoe singing Brave Bird. So I definitely feel like a lot of you all had to brave your light. You had to brave a situation that was very difficult. But look how you are emerging. You're going to have to make a judgment call because this could be someone from your past and I do see that again here with fool. Maybe someone realizes they were being foolish. And I'm hearing that song by um, Brand Nubians. Don't let it go to your head, no. So somebody was definitely like egotistical, cocky. You know, they thought the sun rised and set on their ass. But there's new love here. This also speaks to healing. You know, you, you, you had a rebirth because you was doing the work. You, you can't transform if there's no work being put in, you know, because or else you'll just be going around and around in circles. But I feel like there was really some 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 major breakthroughs that a lot of you all were having. And it's because you were healing. You know, you got to heal thyself in order to love thyself. That's why you got the spiritual career here, because a lot of y'all have been healing, not just, you know, your own circumstance like healing from your own love ships and circumstances but you've been healing you know generational curses and, and yokes that were on your family tree your lineage on your 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 uh family on your bloodline you know you've been healing that that's why spirit is like initiating you and and choosing you as an initiant as as that healer shaman or light worker but this rebirth is transformation this is also that crown chakra that's fully activated. That's what you've emerged as someone who is tapped and tuned in to your higher self, you know, and there was a lot of karmic lessons, a lot of karmic circumstances to which you had to break free from, you know, something was trying to hold you back and from what your true purpose is. And I feel like you've just emerged someone different and now you're braver. Now you are, stronger and wiser than you've ever been and that's why this transformation is here you're more assertive now more confident and very balanced very harmonized so this ace of cups is promising new love a new love opportunity so a card just flew out let's get that let's see what that is so we got the ten of wands so that's why you now have this ability to transform because now you're unburdening yourself, whatever you were carrying. What did I say about you? You know, you, you could repeat a cycle and you go into a relationship with baggage. Well, guess what? You're going to meet somebody with matching luggage. Like they're going to match the luggage you have. But you said not no more. This is you walking away from a lot of difficulties, tumultuous circumstances. That big ass mountain behind you is what you was dealing with. Mountains denote difficulties, tumultuous circumstances, and it's like you have chosen. This is a choice. Just like that Eight of Cups where she was walking away, you've chosen to walk away from something that was no longer serving you. You've chosen to leave a situation behind. And I feel spirit was giving you the hints. I feel like spirit was giving you the nudges the entire time, and you just followed what spirit told you to do, and that's why there's this transformation. You have the Page of Pentacles here. And this page of pentacles is, you know, we're about to clarify the seven 
a 78 spiritual career. So this is showing like you turning a thought into reality, you honing a skill, mastering a craft, sharpening your sword. This is tutelage. This is studious energy. This is you working very hard and all of your hard work will pay off because you're consistent because you're putting in that extra, that extra hours, those extra hours, that extra time, you know, to, to, um, to improve an idea, to master, you know, a particular, um, product, you know, but this page of pentacles could also be an offer, a very stable offer, a message, uh, concerning money, a offer for perhaps maybe a promotion, a career, um, opportunity. Uh, maybe there is, you know, again, maybe discussions pertaining like wills and life insurance, and maybe you're going to get an offer for a better deal. Um, but this page of pentacles is showing me that there's some communication, uh, regarding finances. Um, we have, um, who is this? We have Erica Badu, and this is called 20 Feet Tall. So, yeah. So, with the spiritual career, and then you got the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you're going to feel like a giant. Because, you know, whatever this is, it's like, it's literally going to, and maybe that's in reference to your spirit team, your angels. Um, they do say the angels are giants. Like, they're way larger than we could even imagine. Um, so, I do feel like, you know, maybe they're, ordaining you you know they're choosing you you're you're being um initiated into your purpose into you know maybe even your passion um and this is just the start of something amazing so let's see why a spiritual career here may have a message of love and life my beautiful beautiful thank you and the bottom of the deck we got the five of wands see that this is confusion. This is people like talking, gossiping, listening to the dun the dunce. Like this is the energy that, you know, perhaps some of your haters could be trapped in or maybe some of the people you'll be working with could be feeling this type of anxiety and this type of confusion. This is like unsettled energy, you know. This is chaos, pure chaos. In the words of my daughter, water, pure chaos. That's what that looks like. Like somebody definitely... Um, you know, because with this sp spiritual career and the five of wands, this could be even like confirmation from spirit. Thank you, spirit. So this could be, you know, uh, <laughs> a competitive energy. You know, maybe there's some folks out there trying to duplicate your style, trying to do what you do, you know, and I feel like, you know, maybe they're trying to stunt your growth. You know, maybe they're trying to bite your style. There's something you do that's very unique. But the beautiful thing is nobody could ever be you. Like you're uniquely made. Whatever it is that you're creating and manifesting, it is uniquely made as well. And so real recognize real. So you needn't worry about this type of distraction. This is um, a very distracting energy. That's the type of energy that tries to throw you off course. They try to come in and, and, and start petty arguments and disagreements just so you can get distracted off the path and off your purpose. You know, the five is always a number of challenge, conflict, change, you know, and with these five individuals, these are, you know, a very competitive energy. They're all competing for what I don't know. You know, these these individuals haven't realized that the only competition you have is truly, you know, that that reflection you see staring back at you in the mirror. So this is this is like low vibrational energy, you know. <clears throat> so let's see what we have. So we got the three of cups is here. So threes, threes are powerful numbers. Threes are always um, very indicative of manifestation. So many of you are master manifestors, you're alchemists, you're magis, sorcerers, high priestess, high priests. You could be, you know, magicians, like, you know, wizards, witches, warlocks, like you have a blue, beautiful gift. Some of you all, you know, have learned how to, you know, do some sort of, um, you know, come to me rituals, love spells, manifestation rituals. It's like whatever you do, it's like it is written in the stars. You know, whatever this is, whoever this is, this could be someone returning. And that's how you realize, damn, my gifts is like potent, you know, because maybe you've manifested someone to return. You know, with the three of cups, I feel like this is like I hear celebrations, you know. I feel like this is someone that is 
you know, returning with good intention, you know, and I feel with spiritual career, this person could also be someone who's into spirituality or who's a, a practitioner or um, also a magi and alchemist, a sorcerer, a high priestess. Like there's some sort of um, connection to the spirit realm that you and this person share. Maybe you and this person, you know, may communicate telepathically, intuitively. Maybe this person dreams of you often. You know, the 78 breaks down to 15, which is six. That's the lovers in traditional tarot. So I do feel like, as I said, maybe, you know, in a former reading, I was saying that you, you may meet someone, you know, while, while, um, you may meet someone while enacting whatever this is, you know, whatever spiritual gift, you know, but while living this spiritual purpose and path, you may meet someone whilst doing that and this will become like your you know your your spiritual partner um your spiritual love connection you know this is someone that universe source spirit your angels are are aligning you with this is someone i feel you know already this could have been a friend uh because there was a song that was about to play before erica and i skipped it because we heard it in a former reading and that was kendrick um, Eddie Kendricks and it was called intimate friends and I just want to show you just because you know me I like to show and prove I don't talk because I have lips like some folks you know so if you look here I just put it back come on now baby let's let's do this there it is see that and you see what it says Eddie Kendricks intimate friends and I skipped it because I wanted to hear a new song to get some new downloads and that's the 20 foot song that I referenced, but I skipped the Eddie Kendrick song because I just, you know, like I said, I wanted to hear it because it came out in a form of reading, but that intimate friend is sticking out. So this could have been, you know, a form of friend, you know, a friend that you hadn't spoke to in a while, you know, a friend that may have deeper feelings, you know, that may come in and confess that, communicate that to you. Um, I definitely feel there was some competition here. You know, there's some folks who feel like they're in a competition with you. And I feel like they, they hot, like they angry, you know, they, they got some, some issues, but I feel like this is them, their own issues. You know, they're trying to project that onto you and you're not having it. Look at that 10 of cups. See that someone envisions marriage, happy house, happy spouse. They envision longevity, stability, security. They envision collaborating you know, this is, this is a beautiful energy. I also see you as being, you know, very maternal right now. You know, someone could be coming in and, and, and propose. I just feel, you know, somebody also has a very strong, um, attraction, sexual attraction, addiction to you as well. Is somebody addicted to you? You got this, this 10 of cups, then you got the devil, and then you also have, um, the temperance. And so what was I saying about divine timing? You know, the devil is the opposite of the lovers, right? And you see how this person is up in their head. You know, so this devil, that's the attachment I was picking up on. That's the, you know, the the psychic attacks, the the, the because somebody is trying to to keep you stuck. You got me hanging on a string now. I just heard that song and I had to sing it because I heard it so loud. So that is um, loose ends. So this is a loose end. This is somebody that's trying to keep a loose end with you. Like they don't want to tie things up. They don't want it to be, you know, tied up. They Not tied up. They don't want to be cut off. So they're trying. They don't want the loose ends. They don't want that. They want to keep you stuck. You know, I was picking up on attachments. I was picking up on someone who you know, was kind of manipulating your energy, just very toxic, and then voila, last card. And this is the outcome. So someone could be trying to um, interfere as well, you know, with a connection. But I feel like, you know, Spirit is saying, look, divine timing. Divine timing is of the essence. 20 feet tall is playing by Erica Badu. And that's the wrong um, order came out like that then it came out like this I feel like this is somebody who's obsessed with you also like they think of you obsessively and this is somebody who is just like I keep hearing father time is not on someone's side 
you know, because somebody's just like procrastinating. Somebody is just very like, this could be like someone who has Aries in their chart. If you look at this devil, there's like a ram tattooed on his arm. So even though this is Capricorn energy, this person is like, you know, this could be somebody, as I said, incubus succubus. They got a lot going on behind the scenes. And spirit is telling you like, look, you got to stay bounded, you know, grounded, balanced and aligned. You got the sun and the moon. So as above, so below. You know, so, you know, good things take time to create. Be patient. Don't rush and make a decision. You got to know your worth and value. You know, this person here doesn't have anything to offer you. You know, the devil is just, you know, is, is, he's very deceptive. You know, he's very cunning. He's very cocky. He's egotistical. He's, he's a trickster. You can't trust anything the devil says. Someone may try to offer you something. You know, someone may try to act like they want to come back and offer you something. But this is someone who's in a competition. This is somebody who's trying to confuse you, keep you, you know, a little cloudy. I was picking up fuzziness, fog in the mind. And then it's funny how this card comes out. And then you see this person like he's like grabbing his, his crown, you know, because he's confused. And it's because somebody is saying, oh, I love you. But then the actions don't show it. That's the only reason why you would be conflicted. You know, it's because it's like somebody could say the words and then, but they treating you like dog crap. So spirit is like, look, take as much time as you need so that you can see the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because the temperance is here. Temperance is all about divine timing, you know, taking your time to get things right. And he's, th there's a moon and a sun here. So that's duality. That's masculine and feminine energy. So that tells you it's about balancing, being balanced. You know, let's, let me see. So look at this. Somebody feels like they've missed an opportunity. And this is why they're trying to be cunning because this is someone who's literally watching you come into some sort of union with another person. This person could have potentially listened to the wrong people, you know, was trying to follow the crowd, trying to, you know, do what everybody else was doing. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, here you are connecting with like a divine counterpart, especially with that spiritual career in the Three of Cups, you know. So that's like a new love, you know new love opportunity that 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 love raining down on you and someone's sitting here singing they shoulda coulda wouldas and it's because they was listening to these the dun dun who don't know they ass from their elbow and so we have um nods and this is called war so that's exactly what these people are at they're at war and i feel like these people are at war with you you know, and now I'm hearing Pat Benatar, love is a battlefield, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, and this is why you have karmic completion, because, you know, whenever you have a devil in your midst, it's like there's obvious, uh, you know, karmic lessons you're having to learn, um, and when you have these type of attachments, these are like spiritual parasites, if you will, you know, these are people that will break you down uh, to a molecule if you let them. Um, these are the type of people that are narcissists, you know, they could be even be sociopaths, you know, habitual liars, people with addictions, you know, incubus succubus type of energy. Um, they just, you know, this, this is all they do. Control, manipulate, trick, gaslight. That's what they're known for. Devil energy does not bring anything good to the table. And with this empress energy, the light, this is like, they're, they're like a moth to a flame. You're shining bright, you're beautiful, you're glowing, you're strong, you're nurturing, you're maternal. You know, you just have this, this, this beautiful eloquence about you. And this person wants all of that. They don't want to do nothing to obtain it, you know, meaning like, you know, show and prove, um, mean what they say. They just want to come in and, 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 and snatch it because they see here like you you're on the precipice of, you know, like meeting your lifetime partner, you know, and if they could come in between this, you know, then then they've won, you know, so they're trying to convince you like, look, take my hand. We can work this out. Meanwhile, spirit is handing you, you know, what could otherwise be, you know, even though it's the 10, this could also be the ace of cups. Remember, we saw, you know, a new love opportunity that was coming in. And we had Joe Scott saying, love rain down on me. So it's about love raining down on you and not the confusion and the mental conflict and the anxiety and stress and worry that this devil is trying to cause. So let's see what else we got coming and going out going on. All right. So let's get some messages from Hoodoo. So we got the nine of baskets, which is like the nine of cups here in the Hoodoo Tarot deck. So this is what you're doing. Selfish, loving me, myself and I. 
you know, that's what it's all about. You know, remember we saw the eight of cups where you were walking away when we split the deck. Well, now we have the nine of cups. So this is where you are currently. You're in a position now where you are protecting yourself. You are protecting yourself by any means and any strategy. You don't want this type of energy around you. You've already walked away from it. Because this energy had you feeling emotionally bankrupt. And you know your worth and value. So you're treating yourself good. You're focusing on self-care. Because you've already grown personally. You've already been doing the work. That's what you've persevered from. And so now there's an opportunity for you to attract what you are. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment. They also feel that they could have emotional fulfillment with you as well. You also appear to be doing very well for yourself. Independent, you know, you're not asking anybody for anything. Um, you're just taking care of yourself. We have uh, chem inside. So you have a wish fulfillment. Somebody definitely feels your wish fulfillment. You got the nine of cups and you also have the star card. So I mentioned the star and the grandfather um, or grandchildren card is the star. So it's like... Like you have remained hopeful. Um, you knew, you know, that what you deserved was it was already yours. You just had to work through whatever this karmic cycle. You had to complete that. You had to complete that cycle um, so that all of this could come to you. This is the wish fulfillments, the answered prayers. This is because you remained hopeful, optimistic and positive about your outcome. So let's see what else we have coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Yeah, something coming in, rushing in. That's the chariot. So this energy is showing me that there's something coming in very quickly. And the chariot is, you know, this is almost like, because, um, you know, on, a, on traditional tarot, you know, the chariot is depicted uh, by, you know, a man who is... Uh, you know, who is driving the chariot and he is directing the horse, the black horse and the white horse to move in his desired uh, direction. And so I feel like that is showing um, the force that this wish fulfillment is coming. It's coming in very quickly. It's going to come in uh, suddenly, like unexpectedly. I feel like you're not even going to uh, sense when it's here. The father of baskets. Someone is realizing your wish fulfillment. And we have Kem. And this is called inside. So you live inside someone's mind. It's like you are just kind of walking around someone's mind 24-7. Like you rented space there. You live inside their mind, but you're also inside their heart. They carry you around their spirit, you know. Um, this is someone that has a lot of love. The king of cups is a very reserved king. He does not emote or express his feelings but he feels very very deeply and I feel like this is the type of person that would be very devoted you know very committed you know they're also very emotionally intelligent and this could be that energy that is kind of like returning you know because I do feel like you know with that star those stars if you look closely there is one two three four five six seven eight there's eight stars that are um, resonant on this this card and we just saw the eight um, the star and we saw uh, the nine of cups so I do feel like this is a wish fulfillment I feel like a lot of you all can feel this you could feel it you could sense it and I do feel someone's trying to interfere with this wish fulfillment um, this could be someone that you co-parent with because we saw parenting and that was at a nine. Nine is the highest number of change. So something's changing and shifting within a relationship, a dynamic with someone that you could have co-parented with or you could have coexisted with. This could have been an ex, a lover, um, but there's something changing. And I feel somebody is going to resort to trickery and games, trying to keep you stuck and trapped mentally. You know, this is like, um, you know, psychic attacks. This is like, you know, manipulation, um, emotionally manipulating you. And so there goes the tower. See that? And there goes the free man, which is the fool. So there is a, a tower moment that is taking place. And this tower is very necessary because there's obvious a lot of things being hidden, you know. And I also feel like with this, the free man is the fool. But I, I love the name free man because it's like somebody is freeing themselves here. Um, it looks like they're freeing themselves from something um, that they 
thought was one way, but it appeared it appeared to be one way, but it was absolutely um, something worse. If you look, there's like a magnifying glass, and it just shows the tower that's burning in the physical realm. You know, it's burning down, but with this micro this this magnet, it's like everything is perfect. So it's like this person is try was trying to uh, live this perfect life. You know, trying to um, you know, live up to some sort of social standards or was trying to appear a certain way, uh, trying to appease a certain crowd or whatever. And it's like now they're finally freeing themselves because it's like it, it, it was too um, it was too much to keep up the act. It's almost like it was an act. And if you look, there's like three people falling out of the tower. So that speaks to like third party energy, someone being triangulated. You know, someone discovered there was something going on. So someone's freeing themselves from some sort of third party. And so we have Eric Roberson, and this is called Pretty Girl. So some of you feminines, there's a masculine that feels you're very pretty. You know, you're very beautiful. You just, you're very attractive. And we do see that here with this three empress energy, uh, creativity. So they see you as very pretty, very attractive. Someone who's very, you know, you know your worth and value, very confident. They like the way you carry yourself. You just carry yourself with, with respect, you know. You, you, you carry yourself with respect, but you're also very wise. It's like you, you have something to add on to the conversation. You kind of stimulate them. You intrigue them. You know, they're, they're intrigued by that, that mysteriousness that surrounds you. Even if you're masculine, there's a feminine that's just kind of like into you fellas. Like they like the way you think. They love the way, you know, how deep you can get. They like that you're very experienced or worldly. Like you could just, you know, they could just pick a topic out of the blue and there's something you can add on to the conversation. And it's just very different than perhaps maybe um, other relationships they may have been in, you know. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on the line, spirit of love and light for my beautiful Scorpios. So we have on the bottom of the deck the six of baskets. There you go. Someone is returning. This is someone that wants another another chance. Someone who's also been doing some healing, some work. Remember the fool and we just saw the free man. So someone wants to return to you because they freed themselves from a connection that had them feeling restricted and bound and stuck. This is someone wanting to take that leap of faith. This person feels you're very attractive, very beautiful. And this is someone that is, you know, wanting to apologize. They have a lot of love, a lot of adoration. And this is also, you know, this is spirit also telling you, like, you know, maybe this person communicates this very message to you via your dreams or via tele telepathy or, you know, intuitively. This is someone that just wants to take that, that, that leap of faith, you know. And I feel like, you know, for a long time, they allowed their fears, their pride, their ego, you know, to to hold them back. But not anymore. You see how she's just like jumping. It's just like whatever. And she's jumping backwards. So that's that's major trust in the divine. And that's what they've learned. This is like, you know, the personal growth is like trusting what spirit tells you, trusting what you feel, what you know intuitively is best for you. And someone wants to come towards you because, you know, you're attractive. You know, they're attracted to you, mind, body, and soul. This isn't just about physical attraction. This is like they, they, they find you to be a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit, you know. It's beautiful. On the bottom of the deck, we got the mother of knives. But you come off so cold, baby. <laughs> you are so cold. And it's because you are now, you know, very protective of your heart. You know, what did I say? Like, you, you, you're very protective. You're very defensive, you know, very guarded because of the hurt that you had to heal from, that you've endured and you've persevered. That, that shows the growth, the work, the effort. Like, you were resilient. This was no easy feat. You, you've emerged someone completely different because of the pain, because of the hurt you've experienced. But, you know, you're also very mindful to check for the red flags. You know, you're not just going to be all open and, and receptive to everybody. You're checking. You're doing your due diligence to make sure not to repeat that mistake or to repeat a cycle again. So you're very cerebral now. And you got the seven of knives. That's because, you know, li people lie. 
You know what I'm saying? Men men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. Like you you know to to check the temperature of people now, to do your due diligence, to not just give people the benefit of the doubt anymore. That's what your spirit told you. Because look at this, right behind it is the seven of swords. And so that's how you're gonna catch this this devil in the act. That's why you got this this disposition because you could feel still feel the presence of that devil. You know, they still sitting around, you know, conjuring up some shit. Pardon my language. And so we have Faith Evans. I love you. Somebody's going to communicate their love for you. And we got the four perseverance and the judgment here. So you will have to make a judgment call. And because we see the six of cups, this is someone that you know. And I feel like because that intimate friends, I feel like this is a friend that wants to now turn lover, you know, because we did have vision of love. Someone has a vision of love. So they may be thinking of you, dreaming of you. You know, maybe somebody is literally like driving by your home. You know, maybe somebody lives in your vicinity and they could do that. They know where you work. So they may be just kind of like, you know, on some 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 stalker ish, but not spooky stalky, but just kind of wanting to just get a glimpse of you, just wanting to see you, you know, but this energy here. Trust your intuition and that you are. So let's see. Why is perseverance judgment here for my beautiful Scorpios? They have a message of love and light. Why is perseverance? Thank you, spirit. So I'm taking the one that flew out in the upright and I'm going to put these to the side and I'll use those to clarify the other messages. So we have the five of baskets. See that deep regret and more. Someone reg regrets something, but there is a victory here. This is you also, you know, like just, you know, kind of basking in your glory you know, being rewarded and recognized for all of the hard work and effort that you've put in to, you know, healing from past pains, wounds and traumas like this is spirit, like celebrating you, rewarding you, you know, because you have transformed. So this is like, you know, a, a victory, a breakthrough of some sort. And you can see clearly like you're breaking through, you know, and everyone is acknowledging it. You know, you're going to be regarded as I said, like, you know, someone who was a great healer, a master teacher, a shaman, um, there is recognition, there is rewards, there is um, a victory, you know, acknowledgement, forward movement even. And this could also represent like a marriage, you know, you may choose to take someone back because someone could return and say, look, I love you. You know, according to Faith Evans, somebody that remained, you know, very faithful, hopeful, optimistic is going to, you know, just take that leap of faith and they're going to, you know, come in and, and, and um, confess this love because we have Faith Evans. I love you. You're the one I, that I adore. And I can't take it anymore. Somebody can't take not confessing this, expressing this, communicating this very truth to you anymore. And I feel like when they do, baby, that heart chakra going to be on blast like you're going to be open open look at this you're open you're opening up this is you opening up you was trying to hold on but it's like you're, you're gonna, like that's what i was picking up like your souls are intertwined so this uh, this twin flame that's coming in because four is the vibration of 11 11 this is someone who's also been doing their work and i feel like you're just gonna know you know what i'm saying like you know the way that you've evolved and transformed it's like now you're more sensitive to energy you're more sensitive um to even vibration so it's like you're just gonna know when this person comes into your life that that's your person because there's a synergy and a chemistry that's undeniable and this obviously gonna lead to some sort of victory or some sort of commitment um so we have next we have the nine of baskets flew back out so this is what you're doing now self-love self-care that's why you walked away that's why you dropped off the load you was like i'm not carrying nobody else's load but my own you know, I'm done trying to be super save a hoe. I'm done trying to be everybody saving grace. I'm done making sacrifices, not being appreciated. You know what I'm saying? You're doing your due diligence to heal thyself. And that's what caused the major breakthrough, you know, that major transformation. Because you've learned to love thyself. In the past, I don't feel like you really showed much love to yourself. You was just so willing to, you, you know, so willing and able to go above and beyond that sometimes you just kind of let everyone demand time energy money whatever it is you had and then that shit got old quickly part of my language but now this is the focal point me myself and i that's what i got in the end that's what i found out and so you know that's what you're doing you're, you're selfish and you're loving you more you know and there's nothing wrong with being selfish especially when you were being exploited by this damn 
demon seed, this damn parasite, this leech, you know what I'm saying, this energy vampire. So now you like me, myself, and I. That's the transformation. This is the re the rebirth. You know, this is what you have, you know, taken on that type of, uh, you know, that type of perspective now. It's like you got to focus on the self. So next we have, we have Bishop C.H. Mason. So this is the Hierophant. So this is showing, you know, again, you know, spiritual uh, strength you know, growth. This is all about seeking higher counsel, wisdom, knowledge, learning, you know, studious energy. Um, you may very well meet someone, um, you know, whilst learning more about your spirituality or whilst, you know, trying to follow your, your purpose, your path, your soul's mission. There's a reuniting of souls, of spirit, of energy here. You know, and this is someone who's also tied to your spirituality, um, you know, or to ch tied to spiritual uh, practices as well. This also speaks to like potential marriage um, because Bishop Mason, you know, he could also, you know, he could he, he can run a little marriage ceremony. You know, he, he got the paperwork. He's ordained. So this is powerful. So we have Tiana Taylor and it says, who's going to make it home? So there's going to be a choice, you know, who's going to make it home. I feel like you're the home, you know, your home base, you know, like your home. You're going to feel you feel like home to both of these people. Even this demonic and it just de this devil energy feels like your home. And I feel like it has nothing your your home because that's what, you know, a parasite does is, you know, you, you you're literally uh, their life force. So you're their home. But then on the other aspect, I feel like someone feels like you, you know, home is where the heart is and their heart is with you. You're inside their their mind constantly or inside their heart because they carry you in their spirit. So you feel like home. You feel like hearth to this person. You're like their soul food. So this person is is truly like looking at you as you know, someone that they want to return to, you know, so Tiana Taylor said, who's going to make it home. So it feels like, I feel you're going to trust your intuition. You're going to use discernment and you're going to see, you know, that there's only one of, you know, the two choices I feel you're going to have, um, that makes sense because this devil is definitely not home. You're, you're home to them. Cause like I said, you're, you, you know, you're there, you're hosting, their their stay <laughs> you know what i'm talking about that's what a parasite does you know they they just live off of you you know so that's the energy so we have this five of cups they're going to feel a lot of regret and remorse because i feel you're absolutely making the right decision the right choice and you're choosing you you know this is about you being selfish loving you you don't want to carry baggage anymore you know you've learned what your love language is as you've been doing your work with this perseverance that solid uh, green card, number four, is showing that you've done a lot of healing, you know, at a soul level. You've healed internally. You've healed past pains, wounds, and traumas. And that's the only reason why your twin flame, your soulmate, is coming in. You know, this is someone traveling to see you even. So we have this five of cups. Somebody's going to feel deep hurt and regret because you're going to be all booed up with the next one. And this is the best thing you ever had. The empress knows her worth and value. So you're going to choose wisely. You're definitely not going to get stuck with this person in this person, you know, um, energy. So we have right now, um, yep, we got um, Fela Kuti featuring D'Angelo. And this is called No Enemy. So, yeah, so you're not doing no, no bad energy. You don't want no enemies. You don't want no, no damn sheep dressed in wolves clothing around you. You don't want no vultures. You don't want no snakes, no fakes, no fugazis. You don't got no time for the foo-foo. No time. So that's why they're going to feel a lot of regret. And that's why they might even try to, you know, argue with you, cuss you out, say some mean thing. Being, you know, they resort into their childish ways. They don't get what they want, so they throw a tissy fit, you know. And it's because, look at this. They're watching you connect, reconnect, or just, you know, develop some sort of new connection with someone else. And and look at this childish energy. They're going to feel a lot of regret. They're going to feel a lot of regret. So why is this three creativity, the ten of cups? Thank you, spirit. Didn't I say you're going to have a, have to make some decisions? And we got them bones. So be mindful because I was picking up on somebody like, you know, especially with this devil here. You know, this could be somebody that's doing, you know, some sort of spells. 
this could be somebody doing like you know some sort of binding spells or some sort of uh, separation spells or some sort of love spells or something to try to manipulate someone else's energy and remember I told you you're gonna have to make a decision you know what I'm saying there's a right and wrong way to be loved there's a right and wrong choice in this uh, you know scenario here and you have to use your intuition you got to choose wisely you know do not allow somebody to you know deceive you trick you gaslight you manipulate you you know because this is what you're going to do you see that energy right there this is where they're going to have you trapped that's where they win when they start bumping their gums and talking through their forked tongues and they have you stuck in this confusion so there's a choice you're going to have to make do i choose true love you know what I'm saying? Or do I choose somebody that may be familiar, but they're not really familiar. It's just somebody that you've been around for a while, but you know, you don't really know them. So next we have the Ten of Cups, I mean the um, King of Cups here. See that? So this is the love. This is the choice you're going to have to make. You're going to have to make a decision. I feel like if you do have a King of Cups, this person is definitely uh, not only addicted to you, but they are like, boy, oh boy. They got a lot of love, a lot of passion. And it's all pent up. <laughs> and we got the seven of coins. So, yeah, that's why spirit was telling you, like, divine time. And good things take time to create, beloved. Good things take time to create. Some of you all could be up in your head thinking too much. Or maybe somebody's up in their head thinking too much about this connection. Whatever it is, you know, there's a need to, you know, to, to go within. Take a deep dive. You know, kind of disconnect so you can see what options is best the dem bones this is the um dang what card is that again i forgot oh i think that's temperance i believe that's temperance let me double check because i have not um i'm drawing a blank let me just check real quick them bones them bones them bones them bones all right what's going on with them bones what's going on with them bones come on now all right we see the star we see that where's them bones where you at baby oh judgment that's judgment i'm tripping tripping okay so that's judgment so, yes, yeah, so there is um, definitely some sort of karmic situation, and you're going to have to make a judgment call. This is all karma, dharma. Judgment came out twice, by the way, because you have judgment here, and then judgment is on the bottom of the deck. So this is just letting you know, like, both of the, I feel like you're going to have to make a judgment call on two people because it came out twice. One is, you know, I feel both of them are from your past, to be honest with you, but one is a karmic, and the other one is, you know, perhaps a friend. And we have um, Chico de Barge, and this is, uh, um, is, this is no guarantee, uh, but what's really resonating is the title of the album, which is Long Time No See. And so with the Six of Cups here, I definitely feel like it's been a minute since you saw this person that's coming in. It's been a little minute, and so they're going to have a lot to say, and there's going to be a lot to unpack. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see. Let's get some messages from Kipper. All right, some messages from Kipper. See what we got coming and going out going on. So I see some unexpected income. So I did tell y'all, y'all had some sort of wish fulfillment. There was a blessing. It's like an answered prayer for a lot of you all. And it's because of the blood, sweat, and tears. Didn't I tell y'all, y'all was working on something, putting in extra hours. Spirit saw that. That 38 reduces to 11. So that's you. You tuning in. Because remember, 11, 11 showed up. So this speaks to, honestly, I feel both of your energy. And that's why you have a blessing coming in because spirit has, you know, acknowledged, especially with this transformation here, you know, and the, the reemergence of you. It's like you put in that work, you put in that time, that energy, and it's only right that you get rewarded for it. So let's see why. Um, what's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios? Shuffle this deck. So there's no guarantees. So that's why. It's very important to make the right decisions because you may choose one path and there's no guarantee it's going to work. 
So even if some of y'all are thinking like, oh, well, maybe I should go back to where my, you know, my baby mama, my baby daddy, because, you know, we've been together all this time. There ain't no guarantee it's going to work just because time, you know, time is nothing more than just that. You know, that's all you have sometimes is just time. And it, it, it's not enough, you know, if that's all you have. Somebody trying to convince you that you need to stay with them because you've been together for 10 years, but it's been 10 years of hell. Like, you going to stay for another 10 just because you've been already trapped and bound to somebody for 10 years? Like, hell no. All right, so let's cut the deck, see what's coming and going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. Beautiful souls. What's going on? Last one. Bottom of the deck. And that's bad health. Somebody is missing you like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Missing you. Loving you all through the night. Share my love. That's what somebody is doing. They missing you. This is heartbreak. This is somebody like suffering from heartache. Loss. They sitting in the bed. They like they agonizing missing you. Thinking about how to return. Wanting another chance. And they know that there's no guarantees that you're going to accept this. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long time since they've seen you, since they've conversed with you. You know, like I said, there's a lot to unpack. Toil and labor. You've been busting your ass. You've been working hard. And one thing you're not doing is going back. It's like you're 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 on some full upward and onward forward motion-ish. Like you're not looking backwards, you know. And when you look here, there's three people, you know, on this card. If you look closely, you see these other people are like, there's no color to their clothes. So it's like these people are distant memories. It's almost like you're there alone, you know. So it's like you you have are so far removed from a situation, someone doesn't know if you're going to be willing to uh, take them back. Because you're focused on yourself. We got Jill Scott playing one is the magic number. So you're focusing on you now. You know, that's why that nine of cups showed up. Because that's the energy of selfish loving me, myself, and I. So, so let's see. Why is four here? Uh, perseverance, judgment, thank you, spirit, and the six of sticks. Bottom of the deck, we have toil and labor still. So that's why. That's why you've been, spirit is showing the time that you put into healing thyself. Like, you've been very resilient. Like I said, you had to brave a lot of circumstances. You had to brave your light. You had to brave, you know, these, these, these circumstances with these individuals. Look at that, the death. So it felt like a death. This 19 reduces to 10. That's an ending. There could have been people, loved ones that you have lost. You know, I'm hearing a child's father, grandmother, a grandfather, a father. But it's like you've persevered through all of that. That was a part of the karmic lessons. You know, it's like you, you've you emerged someone new through the pain. It's like you've suffered major pain, major loss. And it's like you realize in those times of need that it was just you you know because that's literally what joe scott is saying there's just me one is the magic number that's what you realize and this 19 is showing that you know you you had to move forward as painful and as harmful as or hurtful excuse me as it was you had to brave your light you had to stand in your power and more importantly you had to heal from this loss you had to heal from it a lot of you all suffered from divorce, a marriage that ended. I feel like it happened suddenly. Some of y'all were abandoned, rejected because someone new came into the picture. Some of y'all were discarded. Some of you all lost a loved one, maybe a baby daddy, a baby mama, just, uh, you know, transitioned into the spirit realm. And now it's just you and you had to carry the load on your own. But this has helped you to transform and to own your power, stand in your power. And now you're very independent. You've been working hard. Spirit sees that. And that 11 is showing that, you know, you've trusted your gut instinct. Why is the 16 rebirth, 10 of wands, and the nine of baskets here for my beautiful Scorpios? Wow. There's a lot going on, a lot of energy, a lot of powerful energy. So let's see. And look what just, we got the six, the lovers. All of these other cards I'm not taking. Those fell on the floor, and then there was a clump of cards. I'm taking this one singular card that was upright, and that's the lovers. And I mentioned the lovers. So that's why you have this energy coming in, because you are balanced within yourself, you know. 
This is the lovers, so your angels and your guides, as I said, are aligning you with the person that is meant for you, and it's only because you found balance within the self. This is you being in alignment and in the space of oneness, wholeness, alone. That's what walking away from toxic relationships, connections mean. And you're going to drop off all of this baggage because along the way you're going to realize it's just holding you back. It's dead weight, you know, and you'll eventually throw all of that away and it'll just be her walking just like on the eight of cups. You know, you see that she just sheds. It's like a, it's a sign of, of strength to just release, to let go, to clip whatever doesn't serve you any longer. And that's how you attract this energy. You know, the six is the lovers, as I said earlier. And now you got the lovers here and it's because there's just me. One is the magic number. The nine of cups is about being selfish, you know, loving you more. Fifteen, attracting like-minded individuals, working hard to achieve that. You did your due diligence. So why is the 78 spiritual career, the three of cups, and Bishop C.H. Mason here for my beautiful Scorpios? And we have mature men. So you have absolutely, these are both the vibration of the Hierophant, even though this is, you know, a mature man, the number five represents the Hierophant. So didn't I say you're going to attract someone that is also a spiritual teacher, practitioner, shaman, light worker, healer, Reiki healer, master teacher. You're going to attract someone else who's also in spirituality, who's also living their life purpose through spirituality. And you all are going to develop some sort of spiritual connection, relationship, loveship. This is someone you already know. You know, this could be someone that is, you know, perhaps already in your energy and vibration. This could be, as I said, a former friend. This could be someone that, you know, tunes in, taps into you online. If you already have your own, your uh, platform um, or an online presence, TikTok, whatever, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is that you do, somebody's tuning in. Someone's been growing. So this person has also been maturing healing, growing, you know, elevating, you know, leveling up. This is two fives. These are both the energy of that Hierophant. So you are reuniting with someone and it's going to feel so good. And I feel both of y'all are matching one another's energy because you got two of the same energies here. So that's exactly how uh, twin flames, you know, tend to mirror one another. Um, and so we have official person here. See that? So one of the two is an official person. You got the devil, then you got the father of baskets. So you have one person that's an official person that's coming in. That 22 reduces to four. Remember your energy, the three, the empress, and then the emperor. So your official person is absolutely coming in, Scorpios. This is this is written in the stars, as I said before. Somebody's coming in, and there's obviously a decision, a choice you're going to have to make. Because one of them is a fraud. One of them is foo-foo, boo-boo. They foo gazy. This is a master manipulator, a deceiver, a gaslighter. One of them is going to lead you to this Ten of Cups where you're going to feel emotionally fulfilled, financially fulfilled. You're going to feel like you're with your homie lover friend. This is going to be that person that you're, you know, going to provide that happy house, happy spouse energy, happily ever after. That's what you're coming into. This is someone official. This is someone who's been experienced, someone who's a stand-up guy, stand-up gal. This is somebody that knows what they want. They're not playing games. You know, this is someone who stands on their word. Like, you know, they mean what they say. They don't talk because they have lips. Let me get one more card. Bottom of the deck, courtship. So I don't even need to get another card. This is it right here, four. That's the, the, the vibration of the heart chakra and the 1111. So these two individuals, they are courting. This is the beginning phases. This is like the honeymoon stage of a relationship where you're getting to know one another, you're going out on nice walks, you're sitting down at a beautiful park, having beautiful, stimulating conversation, you know, and there's just this attraction. There's just this chemistry that's undeniable. This is the three and the four. So this is someone coming in towards you. And they're going to court you. Look at that. You got the mature man and the mature. See that? So this is your this is your twin. 
this is your soulmate because remember you had the mature man number five there you go six and now you also had the um official person four and then you have uh creativity number three which is vibration of the empress and um this person just feels like you you just light up their life like you just bring so much light so much clarity so much joy someone is having to move away move towards you travel to see you visit you there's someone that's going to have to you know i feel like somebody's may drive to see you you know there's someone who's making a decision to maybe even relocate to be closer but there's some sort of pr divorce proceedings Somebody's going through some sort of divorce proceedings. They they're having to separate, or they're trying to get their names removed off of uh, will, um, off of leases, bills, you know. And this it's going to be a, a victorious ending. And this is just going to make someone want to come towards you even quicker. But look at this: someone just is is drawn to you, attracted to you. It's like you have matured. They have a lot of passion too. That six and four reduces to ten, and so that's one. You know, that reduces to one. So this is absolutely someone who is uh, very passionate. That could be why this devil is here as well. Because, you know, that devil is definitely someone who could be up in their own head, you know. The devil's so tricky, he could trick his own ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're dealing with an empress who got, you know, divine knowledge itself. And you're also, um, or an emperor, for you know, which whatever, per, you know, uh, resonates. Um, but also remember that Queen of Swords energy came out. So the Queen of Swords is very cerebral, you know, very intelligent, and you are making a judgment call. So you have to, you know, make a judgment call. And I feel based off of, you know, your experience, you know, you're not choosing anything that's burdensome, you know, anything that's the, like that weighs you down energetically. You're choosing love, you know, you got the Ace of Baskets here. So this is your choices. Like you're going to make a judgment call between somebody that just weighs you down energetically or someone that's just going to like bring that love and light vibration to you, you know. So this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm loving this. So let's see. I'm going to get a couple messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. All right. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. So the bottom of the deck, this is a very thick deck. This is like two decks in one. All right, I love that. It says they love you to the moon and back. Look at that. You see that? So this person is returning because somebody loves you to the moon and back. Remember, we had a couple of songs about visions of love and love rain. You know, we even had Kem saying inside. And Kem's name, you know, chemistry is, you know, the artist's name, but he goes by Kem. So I definitely feel this is someone you have a very beautiful chemistry with. You will. And so we got Nas uh, featuring Maxwell, and this is called No One Else in the Room. So when you get around this person, it's like they could, you could be in a room full of people, but all you're going to see is that person. It's like y'all may catch eyes from across the room. Maybe that's how the two of you met, if this is a friend or someone from your past. Maybe you met someone, and it was just like there was no one else there. That It's just like everything else was moving in slow motion, and it was just like you just saw this person, and you guys locked eyes and just kind of floated and – you know, kind of floated towards one another. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. We have a message of love and light. Why is this personal growth, the fool, the six of cups, and the bad health here? Someone's definitely, like, recovering from some sort of heartbreak. And it says they f they for everybody, commitment phobe, wandering eyes. So this is that energy. Somebody is now having deep regret and remorse, you know, feeling like they've missed an opportunity. Someone wanted to be a hoe. Someone was more focused on having options than having, you know, some, some good options. It's like, you know, ain't nothing worse than thinking you have a bunch of options and all of them are duds. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, you know, that's just like buying a pack of eggs and you open it up when you get home and you don't do your due diligence at the, the, the grocery store and then, you know, 11 out of the 12 eggs is crap. So that's what somebody realized. That's why now they're like suffering from heartache and loss and why they want to return. You know what I'm saying? Um, they want to return because now they realize like, dang, you know, what I chose wasn't wasn't uh, for me because that six of cups means, you know, in the past they chose someone else. Five of cups is them leaving you behind and, and you were feeling that same regret, remorse, and even rejection um, and now they're sitting here with a broken heart because 
of the foolish mis mistakes and decisions they made. So it says, where do you see yourself five years from now? If you don't know, create a vision board. So that's what a lot of y'all did. Focused on the self, self-love, self-care. Focused on self-discipline. You know, this is you persevering, healing that self. Like I said, healing from a soul level, from, a, from you know, internally making sure to do your di due diligence to be better. This also speaks to, you know, the death of the old you and the emergence of the new you. You know, death is, is not final for Scorpio because Scorpios, you know, resurrect and reincarnate and transform. And I feel that's why, you know, when you look at this judgment card, there's a soul lifting from this body and it's, it's a new, um, vibration and energy which is why there's a victory here because regardless of the death that you may have experienced whether a loved one passing on or even just a relationship ending and it feeling like a death there's still a new beginning here and there's a new beginning because of the work that you put into healing yourself and recovering from that loss the work you did on really just rejuvenating your own spirit and making sure to to repair you know what was broken what was lost um so where do you see yourself that's what you really started to do was to really focus on your independence you know your finances um like i said earlier you know maybe you were writing up wills you know maybe your legacy your children's futures became more um more of a priority opposed to a love connection that just broke down um so there was more focus on your future and uh so we have right now kindred and the family um soul and this is called do you remember so yeah there was there was something that kind of nudged you i feel you know there was there was a nudge spirit was reminding you you know that there, there, there's nothing final all right so it says you are uniquely made beautiful soul and that's what you had to remember. And then we got you are beauty. See that? You're beauty in every fashion of the word. And you are uniquely made. That's what you had to remember. You had to remember who you were. You had to remember to love yourself. Because you lost yourself in a connection. You lost your way. You know? I feel like a lot of you all um, were prioritizing and sacrificing for the wrong people. And that's why you felt like this, this, this is deep pain and hurt loss agony you know and so let's see what we have here there's a lot of messages dang so it says unplug disconnect and connect to your higher self so that's absolutely what you did while in that hermit mode that's about healing you know that's about really you know doing those internal self audits reflecting you know and also leaving whatever behind um, I see single black female, single black or white female or male, once your life, jealous, envious, sneaky hater. Um, and I do see, you know, with that energy there, um, you know, you may have discovered, especially here with this ten of wands, it's like, you know, that's that's somebody that's just going to take, you know, they're takers. You know, they, they, they don't give, they just take. And I feel like, you know, you may have thought that somebody was all for you, that you were, you know, you you were a part of a very tight or close knit uh, relationship, but something transpired, and it was like it was hard for you to forget that. You know, it was hard for you to forget, but you did forgive. But whilst forgetting that person, you focus more on the self. The nine of baskets is about you know self care, self love, and this ultimately brought you back into equilibrium. You know, so I feel there was definitely a decision and a choice to walk away. Uh, and because you felt like somebody was very envious and it turns out you was right because the devil was here. So we got cheesing from ear to ear. So you're going to be cheesing when this person from your past returns. Uh, remember the courtship showed up the card, the courtship, and then it says the courtship here. So whoever this is, they have matured, they have grown up, you know, whatever they was trying to run from or whatever denial, you know, they realized it wasn't just an ocean. It was them, their ass. And now, you know, they're, they're coming back, you know, because they, they've gained a little, uh, a little wise dome, you know, they're, they're wiser now, you know, and I feel like this person is also worldly, very, very um, experienced. And so this is someone that's coming in, that's coming to, to claim you. This is someone that could potentially, you know, offer you marriage, you know, because, uh, you know, they do find you worth it. And we're about to clarify the uh, Empress 
the creativity card, the ten of cups, the devil, the temperance, the seven of coins, uh, the two of knives, and the father of baskets along with the official person. So there's a lot of cards here, so we'll get that. So we got you a beauty. So this is what they feel first and foremost. You know, that, you know, as I said, it's not just physical beauty with you. There's a lot that, you know, makes this person um, feel this attraction. And so we have um, Erica Badu window seat. So I do feel somebody may be traveling because I was picking up on somebody traveling and then the train went by and then we also saw the chariot. A lot of you all are being blissed. This is, again, financial freedom, success. So there is a lot of, uh, of you know, um, expansion here for whatever it is you're working on. You know, this is the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is to create. So some of you all could be creatives. You could be artists. You could be, um, you know, master manifesting or uh, masterminding some sort of new idea. Um, and it's just going to bring forth some sort of success, some stability. Um, there's definitely uh, third party energy vibration. Remember, we did see that card uh, that was speaking to, you know, the laborious uh, work you were putting in. Um, and that could be also, you know, just a, an analogy for a relationship even. You know, all the work, blood, sweat, tears you put into a relationship only to find out that there was some, some someone triangulating you in a connection. So, you know, this mistress, someone that really took pride in breaking up, you know, a potential happy home or even a family, um, you know, somebody that was definitely, um, you know, that didn't have any couth. You know, because if you have no shame for uh, toying with someone's family or, you know, breaking up a, a family or, you know, breaking up a marriage, even though it takes two, it's like you should still have a conscience. Um, but how you get somebody is how you lose them. So karma is always, you know, my, my odd is always paying attention. Um, but I feel like that's ultimately uh, why you're being rewarded, because this is a part of your karma, because this person could have just kind of dipped on you, you know, because that five of pentacles did show up. Uh, and that shows, you know, like somebody being abandoned, somebody being left out, no money, no means to survive, bills due, and they just dipped. They dipped on them and left them for broke. And this is your reward because now you're financially strong. That's why you were focusing on, you know, whatever it was um, that you were mastering, whatever skill set, talent, gift that you had you were honing it uh because you don't ever want to be in that position again you don't ever want anyone to leave you in such a position so you learned independence remember that independence was showing up um that was earlier but that individuality was showing up so we have twin flame so there you have it your twin flame is coming in and i feel your twin flame if you're feminine that would be a queen I mean, a king of cups, if you're masculine, that would be a queen of cups, but that is your suit. So you have someone that is coming in with a whole lot of love. It says a house of mirrors, commonalities, um, and interests, values, strength, hope, weaknesses, dreams, aspirations, fears, and vulnerabilities. So this person will match your fly, your vibration. They will mirror you the same as that 74 and 74 did in the very beginning of the reading, which is the very number of twin flame, which breaks down to 1111. Next, you got a lot of eyes watching. That is that jealous, envious, stalker ex or that mistress that could have, you know, some sort of uh, inkling of you. But this is somebody who's up in their head obsessively thinking of you, you know, and um and somebody that keeps tabs, they always keep in tabs. And so we have trust must be earned, not given. So remember, no more benefit of the doubt. You're no longer doing that. You're going within. And if it doesn't check out within, meaning if your energy, if the energy doesn't feel right, you're not, you're not committing. You're not doing it because things are moving and shaking on your side of the planet. Life is good, beloved. You're not desperate. You don't need anybody to validate you. You're doing just fine on your own. 
You got wish fulfillment. You're emotionally fulfilled. You're strong. You're wise. You're a leader. You're a boss, and you're in that energy. And I feel like because life is good for you, you're going to start attracting what you are. But you're also going, you know, the wind is going to just blow in any old type of energy. This energy is very cunning, and it's always in the background lurking. So it's like even if you cut them off, that's why I was saying you're going to have to do your due diligence. Um, some of you all may need to do like spiritual baths. Some of y'all may need to go to a healer shaman, a light worker, you know, a Reiki healer just to get that energy because this is like a soul contract. You know, this is someone who's definitely knows what they're doing, you know, and um, you got to be careful. So with this emotional intelligence, that's what you're attracting. You're attracting somebody that speaks your love language, somebody that's going to be very attentive, affectionate, very caring, loving, protective, honest, communicative, loyal, and absolutely transparent. And it's because they know they got a dime on their hand. They know they got that, that dapper debonair king on their hand, somebody that's very beautiful inside and out, rare find. You don't bump into this type, you know, at all you know, multiple times in a lifetime, like this is like a rare find. And I feel like this is somebody that's really going to appreciate you, value you, because that's absolutely what you deserve in this interim of your life, in this chapter of your life. So that's beautiful Scorpios. And I think we are good to go. I do want to get a couple of messages from Goddess Guidance. Let me try, see what beautiful Goddess Guidance has to say. So we have blossoming. So there's something definitely blossoming, which means you've already planted the, se the seed. And we see you doing just that here with that seven of pentacles. So you've put a lot of time, a lot of energy into something. And that's why now your hard work will be paying off. It's blossoming. So medicine woman literally fell out. So I feel this is your, call, um, your card, you know. And so, and I say that because remember, you had spiritual career here. So as I said earlier, a lot of you all, because of what you've experienced, because of the healing you've had to implement on yourself, um, that's why you are being initiated. Uh, that's why you are being, you know, ordained or called to, you know, live your truth, live your purpose, because you are absolutely a channel for divine healing and the divine power. So I'm going to pull three messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So divine spirit of love and light. Why? What energy do you, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios from the goddess guidance deck? Wow. So they pulled out a bunch of cards and I feel like these are all your messages. So we have sorcerer. So I did mention you all being sorcerers, being channelers, magis, magicians, witches, warlocks, alchemists. So this is the energy. You know how to turn your thoughts into reality. You're very magical. You're very spiritual. Again, that also is, you know resonating with this message here and next we have divine passion so i told you someone has a lot of passion a lot of fire a lot of desire i also feel a lot of you all now have discovered what your purpose is so now you have a passion for that as well but someone is returning i feel like somebody's going to come in and you know this passion is just going to finally like erupt because we have alicia keys um and it says if you ask me i'm ready so if somebody comes in and asks you you know for your hand in marriage, I think you're going to be ready because I feel like, as I said, there's just going to be some sort of chemistry or some sort of synergy that the two of you will share. And it's just something that's undeniable. It's just going to be a deep knowing, a feeling, you know, because you're emotionally, you're intelligent. So you, you know what you feel. And I feel this person will as well. And we got guiding children. So a lot of you all are parents. We do see that energy with the three and remember parenting showed up so many of you all are helping your children through some sort of toxic um you know karmic cycle you know something where you know maybe their father or their mother you know could have um left the home you could have separated from that parent so your children could have taken it very hard they could have suffered from their own depression so i feel like a lot of you all are really healing your children at this time helping them counseling them maybe some of you all are teachers some of you all could be nurses some of you all could be social workers and you may work with children who have very um very abusive backgrounds like you know their parents were abusive maybe you work in foster care maybe you're thinking of becoming foster parents you know maybe that's something that you just received like a download saying to help you know, heal these children. But I feel many of you all, you know, also were just, you know, healing your inner child. 
That's beautiful. And next we have um, independent. So remember, we were speaking to you all being in this, you know, codependent, toxic connection, you know, dealing with somebody who you may have, you know, like attachments um, and you had to learn to stand perpendicular in your square. You also realized, you know, suddenly or finally, like, you know, your independence was absolutely the foundation for your stability, your strength, your happiness, your success, your joy. And also, you know, you coming into, you know, this new beginning, this rebirth, this transformative time in your life. So it's like you making the decision to walk away, as we saw in the very beginning of the reading, and, and, and owning and accepting your independence is why you're now, you know, coming into your purpose. You know, it's just, it's proven. You got spiritual career, medicine woman, sorceress. I mean, it doesn't get any more blatant than that. And then next you have the arts. So a lot of you all are musicians, you know, you could be singers, artists, producers, writers, you know, but whatever this is, divine is telling you, express yourself through your creativity because that is also your divinity. And I feel like that also is a means to, you know, helping the collective, awakening the collective, the masses. And this is also helping you to, you know, channel your gifts. But you all are conduits of change. This is a beautiful message, Scorpios. I thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. I will that the message is resonated for you all. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. I definitely ask if you can to disable the notifications bell. Please do it right now. Disable, re-enable, because I do feel like a lot of my notifications aren't going through after the last um, update that YouTube had. Um, so I just want to make sure that you all are receiving the notifications as you should. Um, so please just go ahead. It takes two seconds. Click it and click it again. That's all you got to do. Um, also, while you're down there, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, you get a deep dive every time. I'm going to start implementing more readings to the channel. Um, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to do just a collective reading or if I want to tap into each zodiac as I do, you know, uh, Scorpios. Um, they definitely will not be, you know, two hour, one and a half hour long. Um, those will be more like probably half hour readings. Um, I want to give you enough to work with, um, for those other signs. Of course, I, I don't want to say I'm biased, but uh, I'm kind of am. <laughs> um, I may do, you know, the longer readings for like, um, Taurus and Aries. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of choosing because I do feel like, you know, those two energies, I kind of, and Libra, Taurus, Libra, and Aries. Those are the, 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 the signs that came through to give y'all a little more deep dives as well. But, um, my beautiful Scorpios, I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I thank you all for your super chats. I thank you all for your messages, for sharing your stories, for just showing love to one another, for even handling the low vibrational people that come through. Um, you know, you, you, you check them before I could block them. So I appreciate you all. Um, and I just want to say thank y'all. I'm approaching um, 10,000 subs. And as I promised, I am going to do a giveaway. Um, I'm thinking about doing uh, two readings for two uh, lucky winners. And then I'm also going to bliss y'all um, with some, some um, items from my shop. Um, thinking about, you know, maybe giving away a tree, maybe, um, a bracelet or so. Um, this is one of my bracelets. This is a chakra bracelet. And then it has Palo Santo beads on the back. This, the aroma of this is just amazing. Um, but this is like the chakra beads. This is one of, um, another one of my items. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that, but I'm still deciding. Uh, so once I hit that 10,000 mark, I'm definitely going to make an announcement. Uh, so there will be two lucky winners to get a free read. And then there will also be, uh, some other gifts and some fun things going on. So, you know, I'm just kind of working through, you know, the energy right now. Like I said, this is my daughter's solar return month. So, you know, it, it's turn up time. 
Um, I'm about to disappear for a little bit, so I just want to give you all another reading because I may not be able to give it to you next week. So this is just like a bonus message. Um, and apparently the messages are the same. <laughs> um, that new love wants to come in, but a lot of you all need to definitely, um, you know, do some sort of like, you know, maybe take a spiritual bath or, you know, just do your due diligence to kind of, um, you could even listen to, um, if you go to YouTube, there are a lot, you could even go to my, uh, playlist. I have a protection mantra playlist. Um, it's powerful. It is powerful, beloved, especially when you listen to it, um, every day, uh, especially even while you're resting, um, it, it works. Okay. Um, but that is your reading, my loves. I will that everyone has a beautiful, strong end. Until next time, I send a big old fat ashe. Peace, love, and light, y'all.